Welcome to the beautiful summer of Scandinavia. I'm sitting in my tiny boat, gonna catch some fish before I head out to the island where I have my camp. The most guaranteed way of catching something for me is to use hook and worm. This time I wasn't fortunate enough to catch some perch, which I was wishing for, but I got some large grey breams. After a two-hour motorboat ride, I arrived to the island where I have my beautiful campsite. During previous trips, I built this beach shelter from stones and grass and reeds I found on the island. I've also used some clay, as you can see in the chimney, and for connecting stones on one of the walls. I'm looking forward to use more clay today. The gutting of the fish is best done immediately, but I forgot it, but now I'm gonna do it on the beach here. The fish is still pretty fresh. The first thing I do when I go up on the island, on this high cliff, is to gather some firewood. Luckily everything is now very dry, so it's just a matter of taking any dead branches I can find. This is luxurious, I would say. I've gotten a lot of comments about using the axe versus a saw. That the saw would be much more efficient, and that is very true. The axe for me is mostly just something I like to use instead of a saw. So if I can choose between the one or the other, the saw or the axe, I would always go for simply the axe. It's less things to look after and honestly it's very fun to chop around with the axe. If you know what you're doing and you have a pretty sharp axe, it doesn't require that much energy and it's pretty effective. As you can see I have my wool sweater on and another layer underneath it as well. It is early summer but still it's pretty cool here and the wind is making it a bit chillier than it is. In the evening it's gonna become even colder, so I'm gonna be happy to have a fire going soon. I actually have a fireplace inside of the shelter, which I built in the previous videos. This is very exciting and it makes the fire more efficient, it gets warm inside of the shelter and it's very cozy. The grass also is very dry, so it's easy to get the fire going even without matches. This is the feeling I love the most, to put fire inside of the stove. I do this at home in my cabin, but also now I can do this on the island, it's very cozy.
and in goes the fish next i'll just leave it in there for an hour or two and it should be smoked and cooked thoroughly Now let's go see at my clay works from the previous time. I have a bowl which has cracked and some of these clay tiles, they have actually dried. They seem to be alright and I'm gonna use that to close the gap of my oven so the fish is gonna cook even better. They aren't hardened enough so they wouldn't be able to withstand some rain and water. Now I'm gonna take a look at the fish. It seems like it's cooked thoroughly. With me I have some butter and salt and pepper. This is all I need to enjoy my survival food. When you're out in nature, everything really tastes much better. It's part of the smoke flavor from the fire and also just being connected to nature. It's beautiful. When I'm sitting inside the shelter, it's actually getting a bit too warm, so I have to get out to finish my meal. The view and the sounds of nature here are very beautiful. This is the Finnish Gulf. If it's a very clear day, I can actually see some lights from the opposite side of the gulf, I can see Estonia. Now it is time to take a look at the clay tiles. I have hidden my clay works under these cracks in the mountain. So they have remained dry and they have actually dried well in the heat of the early summer. They are perfectly hard, but they are not hardened. As I said, I need to make a kiln, a huge fire where I can put them so they will become red when they are hardened. And if I can manage to pull this off, I'll have roof shingles and a watertight roof. The roof on my shelter is gonna protect from some water, but it's not enough if there's real rain coming down. To build the kiln, the large fireplace, I start gathering large stones so I can build the walls around my fireplace. On top of this straight long stone I found and this piece of rusty steel from the beach I will place my clay tiles so they will be perfectly on top of the fire. When I'm lifting a lot of these heavy stones I make sure to not break my back. It is important to remain aware of the position you're in when you're lifting something heavy. So I always lift these stones as if I was in the gym with a neutral spine position and taking some breaks in between so I do not overwork my back.
the sun is setting beautifully and it is time for a cold swim under the moon. It is early summer, so the water is now around 12 degrees Celsius. A bit cold. Inside the shelter, it's still warm from the fire, even though the fireplace is not live right now but it's warm and I have my cozy candle and this is the door I built the last time. It's a wonderful morning. In this copper kettle I'm gonna cook my favorite breakfast, eggs. This night I slept very well. I have a sleeping bag and my sheepskin. And the sheepskin is just put on these reeds, this very dry grass. And that's soft enough and warm enough to sleep on. I figured I can use some of the clay also for building the kiln. That's more effective than just stacking on a lot of stones into a wall. Digging the clay is very easy. I just use this picking tool and dig into the beach and at around 20 centimeters depth I find a lot of clay. It's quite pure, but there is some small pebbles in it, which makes it uh, less than optimal. This morning it's getting much warmer, and luckily I don't have to use my wool sweater anymore, and I can get some sun. I love spending time in the sunlight. But today I may be spending too much in the sunlight. Spending many hours is fine, but spending the entire day in sunlight may burn me because I haven't been out in the sun yet this year, almost at all. I actually have an interesting story about sunlight and burning in the sun. So previously I used to burn after a few hours of sunlight if I had no previous exposure during the early summer, but now I've eaten a more animal-based diet for several years already and cut out all of the garbage foods all of the seed oils, for example, there's a lot of PUFAs, these very unstable fats which are gonna break in your body. So now that I don't have as much of them in my system, in my skin, it's not burning. I can spend many hours in sunlight without any previous exposure. And this is amazing. I'm not using any sunscreens anymore. I will never use any sunscreens except some coconut oil. And then, of course, you can protect yourself using some clothing or a hat. I'm very happy with this change I see in myself because I don't need to be scared of the sun anymore. I was scared of sunlight. I thought I burn easily because I'm so white in my skin, but how wrong I was. It was only the crap food in my diet. Now when I eat only animal fats, well, mostly, I do eat some coconut oil, some olive oil, but now when I eat more animal-based, I simply don't need to use any sunscreen. I don't need to cover myself from the sun if I'm out just for a few hours. Of course, when I spend the entire day in the sun, I'm wearing my hat, as you can see, so I don't burn my nose and ears, for example. Now back to the clay working. After some time, I get used to the process. 
I just make a row of stones around the entire kiln and then I bring more clay to fill up the gaps and make another layer of clay which the next layer of stones can be put on. In this way the wall is getting higher slowly. There is something very magical and meditative about using your hands to build something with raw natural materials, getting your hands dirty in the clay, lifting the stones and seeing the sunlight and listening to the seagulls and the waves of the sea. This is very beautiful. I love sharing this experience with you and I do hope that you can also get out there in nature because that's the only way to really experience it. You can't watch it on some YouTube video, although here you are, and maybe after this one you can get out there. I would be very happy. Now my clay burning oven is starting to look almost ready. I still want to cover the front of it so that there will be a much better draft through the oven and a hotter flame and as a result I can also harden my clay. For finishing the kiln I found this long stone which fits perfectly into place. I can take some more clay and put some more stones on top of it and then we're gonna have a nice tube-like structure and a hole in the bottom. The air is gonna come through and burn and then we'll have hot air coming 
up from the top and this is going to create a good draft. been working for many hours now and it's getting hot in the afternoon so I'm just enjoying summer to the fullest. Now it is time to find my clay tiles and put them inside of the oven. To get a hot enough fire for hardening the clay tiles I need a lot of firewood. So I head out to another area of the island and here I find many chunks, many big chunks of dry firewood. This is exactly what I need. The fire will need to be going for several hours, so I think I can't take too much. I'm just taking everything I can find and carrying it back to the camp. I make sure there is some gap between each tile so they're gonna get even heat and then I cover the top of the fireplace using stones. This will make the fireplace even hotter but still there's enough gaps for air to come through. After an hour of burning I noticed some popping noises. Apparently many of my clay works have exploded. This is because there is still some moisture, some pockets of wetness inside of the clay tiles. So I need to dry them more and learn from this.
most of my clay has exploded by now but luckily I have some meat which I can cook on the fire to make myself not so miserable because all of the work has exploded in front of me. Even though some of my clay work has exploded by now I have a few pieces left inside the oven which are still intact so I keep adding more fire, more logs to just keep the fire going for several hours. I've been running back and forth to get more firewood. This is kind of exhausting, but luckily I have good food with me. Suddenly we have hail and water coming down from the sky. In Finland, in early summer, we can get hailstorms and uh, even snow in the early part of summer. So I went inside of my shelter to stay dry. And after a moment it was over. This island is a favorite among swans. Swans are the national bird of Finland and I am fortunate enough to see these two swans swimming about almost throughout the entire day right in front of me. They are nesting on this tiny island in front of me and on the other side of my island there are much more swans. Around 10 swans can be seen almost every day, so this is very beautiful, a special experience. Now it is time to check on my tiles. It seems that many of my clay tiles have exploded in the heat, but there are still some inside which are pretty much intact. And here is a good sign, I can see some red fragments. The red clay means that it's hardened, so I think I can go try it in the water, see if it's gonna dissolve or not. Yes, the clay is waterproof and it's very hard and strong, but when I crack it open I see that there's still some grey inside, which means that not all of the clay was hardened. So what's the solution? I need more fire, more heat.
Now that I have figured out the process of creating hardened clay, it is time to make a frame from this piece of wood I found. Using this frame I can create a lot of clay tiles much faster than before and then I'll perhaps have enough to make a roof one day. I don't have any nails with me, but I do have some steel wire which I can use to pull these pieces of wood together into a perfect frame. Once the frame is complete, I just add the clay and start flattening it out using my picking tool and my hands. And lastly, I create this ridge, which is gonna help keep the roof tile on the roof when it's leaning on top of some structure. It is getting late, it's getting darker and colder, the wind is blowing, and it is time to go to bed soon.
I'm moving the flame from the kiln into my fireplace in the shelter so I can enjoy a warm and cozy evening sitting down, relaxing and then going to sleep. The next morning I was happy to wake up with the swan right below my shelter. After I get the fire going, I can go check at my cool down clay works. Let's see what we have here. We have a bowl, and the bowl hasn't broken, but all of the tiles have broken. Even though all of the tiles were broken, the clay bowl seems to be hardened successfully. It's watertight, but only the clay is watertight. It has a small crack, unfortunately, and the water is running out. Perhaps I can use it for something, anyway. Today I will have to return home, so I have this breakfast and put some of the tiles I have created to dry and perhaps the next time I can succeed in making proper tiles. This time was a test and a learning experience for sure and that's what it's all about. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to see the next episode and as always don't forget to get out there in nature. Goodbye.